exponent. Yeah, somebody told me today, so he's going to take a test tomorrow. So this is an emergency case, okay? So now I try to help him. Okay, listen to me. Okay, on this one, as soon as you see this 32, what comes to your mind? That's right, told you to remember this one. 32 means what? 2 to the fifth power. Very popular number, right? That means you just concentrate on this 2x and 5. Oh, simple. So x what? So 5 divided by 2, which is 5 over 2, which is 2.5. The same thing right there. Either one is okay. Okay, what about this? Oh, 625. That's it. That's right. So 5 to the 4th power, right? That's it. Looking at the left-hand side, anytime we have negative power like this, then we can change this one to the positive, see? Now that means, oh, 2n power, then, then automatically we have to flip this fraction over, right? Which is a reciprocal. That means 1 over 5, now 5 over 1. That means this is going to be 5. That's it. Very simple. Which is 5 to the 4th power, right? Oh, exactly the same shape like this. That means, oh, 2n is 4. So n is what? That's right. So 4 divided by 2, which is 2. That's it. On this, that's right. So numbers first, okay? Like numeric, that's right. 3 times 2 times 2. Oh, which is 12. Now, okay, n to the first power, n to the second power, n to the first power again. So that means all we have to do what? Just add, right? 1, 2, 1, which is a 4. That's it. So, actually, it's an n to the 4th power, right? Oh, that's it. On this, you have to be careful on this one. Okay, oh, that's right. A lot of times, I ask a kid, oh, okay, what is the negative 3 to the 2nd power? Then they go like this one, usually they say 9. Okay, which is not, because... This negative not belongs to this, okay? That means negative is negative right there. Then only uh, separated by, okay, 3 and negative. So actually 3 to the second power is 9. That's why this one. But this one is a different case. Negative 3, then parenthesis, then square. That's going to be positive 9. See? Negative ne times negative is a positive. That's why. So now, uh, on this one, you have to check negative first, okay? So how many negatives? Okay, then one right there, okay, separated from y, right? Okay, now, uh, what about this one, see? So negative to the third power, that means totally one, and three, total four, right? That means, oh, that's right, negative uh, to the fourth power, uh, first. Obviously, this one is an even number, that's why positive anyway, so we don't have to worry about that one. Now, uh, the next one, so you have to think about this one, y to the negative, fifth power. Anytime you have negative power, that means you can change this one to positive one on over. See? One over y to the fifth power. Oh, that's it. Now, okay, x to the third power and third power, you just multiply, right? Three times three is nine. So, x to the ninth power. Oh, the next one, y to the fifth and third, together total y to the fifteenth power. That's it. So final answer, so negative fourth power, which, which is gone. Okay, so we ignore that. Now, y to the 15th power, then divide by y to the fifth power. That's why y to the 10th power left, right? Okay, and this one, you can reduce right away. This is going to be 10, see? Okay, that means all final answer is going to be x to the 9th power, then y to the 10th power, right? Okay, so you can do that way. Or, so if you practice a lot, then all you got to count to how many negatives, right? Okay, one, then three right here, total four. That's why it's gone. Oh, forget about it. Now, uh, X first, okay? So you have X and Y, Z, things like that. Then alphabetical order. How about that? Then X to the third power, then third power, so X to the ninth power. That's it. Ooh, just like that. Then Y, ooh. So Y directly. So you know what? Okay, this one is negative five. Then, this one is a 15 right here. Say 5 times 3, which is a 15. Then 15 minus 5, directly 10 right there. Oh, so simple, right? This is a really popular question right here. Okay, so this one to the 0 power. That's right. Wait a minute. 
Okay, you remember this? Okay, what about 5 to the 0 power? That's right, 1, right? Okay, what is the 3 to the 0 power? 1. 100 to the 0 power, 1. Oh, what about 0 to the 0 power? Oh, oh, this is a problem, see? 0 to the any power is 0. Or 0 power, any number to 0 power is 1. That means, that's right. So, undefined. You cannot say which one is which, okay? That's why this one, yeah, you're right, 1. But condition, you must put condition, okay? So, x cannot be 0. And this one is important, see? And, okay, y also cannot be 0. That's it. That's the condition. Again, uh, condition, maybe x and y cannot be 0. Okay, then, if this one, they are not 0, then, okay, left-hand side, 0 power means 1, right? Oh, that's it. Okay, so 1 times, okay, then negative, like I said, you have to think about sign first, right? That means negative right there. So, oh, no power, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, negative, we can put very front, just like that. Okay, now, uh, now all we have to think about this one, okay, x to the second power, that's okay, x to the second power. Okay, then, uh, okay, what about negative 5 power? That means 1 over y to 5th power, right? We just calculate all this one. Okay, negative, very front. Okay, then x to the 2nd power, then y to the 5th power. That's it. Okay, what about this one? So, so y to the negative power right here. You just multiply this one in. So y, okay, then negative 3 over 2 power, okay, then x, uh, then half times, okay, that's going to be negative, okay, so 3 over 4, right, uh, very simple, now, y right here, okay, then times, uh, x to the half power, exactly the same thing, I just copying, okay, y to the 4 over 3, right, okay, that's it, okay, next line, going to be just like this, maybe long one, I'm going to use this one, long one, just like this, okay, then, okay, I'm going to write this denominator, exactly the same thing, so y, uh, then times x to the half power, times y to the 4 over third power, okay, then, anytime you have a negative power, you can make positive, then change position, right, so numerator to denominator, or denominator to numerator, that's it, okay, so y, right there, and then a positive 3 over second power, right? That's it. Okay, now the next one. So x, that's it. Positive 3 over 4. That's it. Now, so obviously the numerator is 1 now. Okay, maybe times later. Okay, now uh, we're going to find out the whole, uh, the, what is it, whole number power. Okay, which is like a y to first power right here. That's okay. So I don't have to worry about that one. Okay. So what about the next one? Oh, y. Okay, 4 over 3. That means you can go like this one. Okay, this one. Okay, you can split y whole number, which is the 3 over 3. That means the left over is y to one third, right? Oh, that's it. See, you got to be careful on that one. So now this one is a y. Okay, that's okay. This one is a y and y one third left. Okay. Now what about this y? Oh, that's right. So, y whole number, 1, 2 over 2, okay. Then, another y, okay, half left, right? Oh, that's it. Now, what about x this time? So, x half right here, okay, left-hand side. Okay, the right-hand side is x half together, 1x, right? Okay, so uh, let me use this one, just like this one. Then, okay, I use a half right here, okay. Another half, that means of 2 over 4, right? That means 1 over 4 left, okay, that means... Okay, well, uh, half power, half power together make one, right there, times, okay, so x, then one quarter left, right? Now, main thing is this one, okay, so y right here, whole number power, that's good. Okay, this one, good. What about this one, good. Oh, what about this one, that. So, y, one third power, and y, half power, together, that's right, so y, 5 over 6 power, right? Oh, that means, oh, this one is gone. Now, I think about this one. How you make this one whole number power? That means, that's right. So, you gotta add 1 over 6, right? That means, oh, not only this side, 
Okay, you're gonna multiply y one sixth power right here. Oh, that's it. So I finished with y. What about x now? Okay, x fourth power. How you make this one whole number? That's right. So you need three over four power right here, right? That means oh, that's right. So x can three over four right here, top and bottom. That way, this is gonna be one. That means x to the first power, which is one power, right? Okay, this one also, this is the whole number one. Oh, that means one, one right there. One more y, one more x. Okay, I put all this one together. Okay, x first, right? How many x's we have? Okay, one and two. That's it. That means x to the second power. I'm gonna put this one in alphabetical order. Okay, now, uh, y. So, y, one, two, three, and four. That's it. So, y, fourth power. Now, top, a <laughs> little bit ugly. That's okay. Okay, so, x, okay, then three over four power. Okay, then times y, okay, then what? One sixth power, right? Okay, you can uh, use uh, that radical form. Actually, the bottom is okay. Uh, 